What's going on guys, it's SKG here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream any mobile game that you want through OBS and with an Elgato HD60 capture card. You could use other capture cards, it doesn't have to be the Elgato HD60, it could be the S, it could be a Hapage, a Dazzle, whichever one you got, they all follow a pretty similar format. So without further ado, let's get you started on streaming. So the first thing you're gonna need other than the capture card is a lightning digital AV adapter for your iPhone. This is gonna run you about $60 Canadian and basically it has an HDMI port that is gonna allow you to connect to your capture card as well as a lightning port so that you can still charge your phone while you're streaming. With your Elgato HD60, you are going to be getting two cables. One of them is an HDMI to HDMI and the other is a mini USB to USB. First thing you're gonna do is plug that mini USB into the back of your Elgato. And on the other end, plug in the USB into your computer. Now you're gonna grab the HDMI cable, plug one end into the Elgato and the other end into the Lightning Digital AV Adapter. Once you have your capture card set up, you're gonna probably need to download some software. So just go to Google Chrome, search up the software for whatever game capture you have. For the Elgato, I'll leave the link in the description below. Going on to the next step, you're gonna need Open Broadcast Software, also known as OBS. The link will be in the description. Download it once it's done, open it up. First thing you're gonna do is come down to your scenes and create a new one. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna be calling it Elgato Test. However, you can call it whatever you want. Next, you're gonna come over to the sources, right click and add. If you wanna capture the game display within the gaming software, all you gotta do is come over here to window capture, hit okay. Once you've selected from this drop down menu right here, the window you wanna record, you're gonna hit okay again. As you can see, it captures everything. It doesn't capture one specific spot, which you need. You just need the game display. You don't need any of the settings that the game capture software may have on the side. So what you're gonna do as I move this, right click your window capture, Go to transform, edit transform, and then crop left, top, right, or bottom to wherever you want. I'll show you guys a quick example. I'll just crop 200 pixels to the left, 300 to the right, 20 to the top, and 400 to the bottom. And there you go, I have a specific window. All you gotta do is play around with the numbers until you get what you want. The only downside to this, in my opinion, is that it may be a little distorted as you're gonna need to stretch out the entire window really big in order to fit the iPhone screen or phone screen onto the OBS. So my recommendation away from this option is creating a new source, but this time it is going to be a video capture. All you gotta do, go down to the drop down menu and find your capture card. This does work for the Elgato. I'm not sure about other ones like Hapage or Dazzle, but if it doesn't, just stick with option number one and you should be good. However, if you do have an Elgato, you're gonna select that, go to the resolution FPS type. It should be device default. We're gonna switch that over to custom and come down to the next one, resolution, and select 1920 by 1080. Once that's all done, click okay, and your mobile screen should appear. Just to show you guys quickly again what you gotta do to get rid of these black borders, you're gonna come over to your video capture, right click it, transform, edit, transform, and then just fiddle around with these numbers. And just like that, I'm only capturing my phone screen. If you want, you can make it bigger so that it's flush with both top and bottom. And there you go, you are done. You are now ready to start streaming some great mobile gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys wanna see how to do it without an Elgato HD capture card and you wanna see it with a mirroring program or something like that, let me know. If you guys want other videos of like how to set up your streams and stuff with nice overlays such as this one that I have with stream labels and stuff like that, the chat, webcam, jar, you know, stuff like that. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll gladly do some videos on that. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. It helps me out so much. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.